moments ago, he met the media. Hey, Karis, after, after the slow start, what were you guys able to correct um, that gave you an opportunity to get back in the game? I think for us, we, um, we came out kind of slow. We had a lot of defensive lapses, especially in transition and on the glass. Uh, those are the two things that, you know, Steve preaches to us every game. Um, taking care of the ball, defensive rebounding. Um, and I think, you know, those two things today weren't at the best, especially at the start of the game that cost us. And then after clawing all the way back, and what was what do you feel like was the difference in those in those closing minutes of crunch time? They executed a little better than we did. Um, I turned the ball over a couple of times. Uh, that's how it is when you're climbing back into a game. You know, you kind of use a lot of energy to climb back into it. Um, that's why we got to play better earlier in the game. But you know, we'll learn from this. Uh, good thing about the season is we play <laughs> damn near every day, so we got another one day after tomorrow uh, to correct it. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Karis, uh, considering the comeback that you guys made tonight, uh, can you put in perspective what these last three games have been like, three without KD and, and two without Kyrie? What do, what do you guys feel like you accomplished? Uh, I mean, we went two and one. I mean, that's uh, – I, I would say that's what we accomplished in the, in the three games. Um, you know, we played pretty good basketball in stretches. Um, I think it'll be important for all of us to, you know, keep this momentum going forward when those two get back. Because um, obviously they're a huge part of our team and we need them to play well in order to do what we want to do. So I think for us, it was good to kind of, you know, get our confidence, get our looks and things like that, because we're going to need that going forward for sure. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Karis, are you able to find the balance between having one of the best games of your life in a loss, like, are you able to kind of find these the the kind of areas where you can be happy that you had such a good game, but also understand where you guys could have improved to have to have a better result? Yeah, I think so. You know, that's the um, that's the thing with basketball. You know, you're not going to win every game. I think um, if you take every game as a learning experience, I think you'll you'll be in the right spot. You know, I try not to get too high or low. Win loss, good game, bad game. I try to stay the same uh, regardless. So uh, this is just another step. Um, definitely some things to learn from, some things I was happy with. Um, so we'll move, we'll move forward. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Harris, I'm curious if there are, are there things that you can take from this three games where you're obviously at far less than full strength that you can put into effect when KD and Kyrie are back or are roles so different and the way and rotation so different that that's going to be a challenge? that that'll be a very different team. Yeah, the roles are definitely different when those guys are when those guys are playing. Um, but there's definitely things to take from it. Like I said, um, for us to be a great team, a team that we know we can beat, everyone has to be playing at full strength. Everyone has to be confident. Everybody has to be ready. So um, if anything, I think these three games prove that, you know, 1 through 15, we're a strong team. Um, and we're going to need that going forward. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Karis, you know, with the numbers you've put up in three starts this year, when you are the first option and you get some more volume and more touches, I mean, does that just make it easier to get into a rhythm, get into a flow? Yeah, I think so. Um, but I think for me, just working off the ball is definitely something I've worked on a lot this offseason, um, playing off of, um, off of players, playing off of the ball, playing, you know, that two-man spot, three-man spot sometimes. I think that's uh, where I've really improved. Um, and I think that, you know, as the season progresses, I'll be able to show that. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Karis, the three-point shooting in the first half and the second half was night and day. Is that as simple as the ball going in the second half and not in the first half? Or do you think you guys did some stuff to get better opportunities in the second half? A little bit of both, to be honest with you. You know, back-to-back, -back, um, you know, they had a back-to-back -back as well. But, you know, I think in the first half, we were kind of sleepwalking a little bit. It kind of felt like everybody was in quicksand a little bit. So we missed some threes short. Um, we had to get our legs warm. Um, but I think once we did that, we got into the flow of the game. We started making better plays for each other. Um, and we got some easier shots. Back to Michael Grady with Yes. Hey, Karis, I know we've been living with COVID for a while, and I know you're locked into the games, but I'm just curious, you know, how odd is it to just cross your mind just how quickly, you know, things can change You're with Seth Curry yesterday and then Jonas Valanciunas was pulled for the second half for health and safety protocols and, you know, the kind of element that that adds to the day-to-day -day for these for, uh, for UNBA players. 
I didn't even know Jonas was pulled for that, um, to be honest with you. He had COVID? Uh, no, it just um, um, just the contact tracing thing. Oh, okay, happen. okay. Okay. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Um, you know, I wish the best for both of those guys and their families. Um, but obviously, it's, it's crazy times right now. It's unpredictable, um, especially for us NBA players. You know, we got a couple of players out with that right now, contact tracing and things like that. So I think you just got to expect the unexpected in these situations. Um, and then as a team, if we're talking basketball, we just got to be next man up mentality because, you know, you never know what could happen. And last question, we'll go back to Christian Winfield with the Daily News. Karis, just seven of nine for three tonight. Was there a moment that you knew you were hot from downtown? Uh, I was due for one. Honestly, I've been shooting bad all season. So uh, I feel like I was due for this game. I've been putting in a lot of work. You know, my shot feels good. Um, so I think it was just a matter of a matter of time, to be honest with you.